Are you fascinated with artificial intelligence and you also like DuckDuckGo? In this video, I'm going to discuss how you can use the DuckDuckGo AI search feature. All you have to do is browse to DuckDuckGo.com and then there is the Duck AI. So, so choose the Duck AI and it'll open up the chat feature and then you're going to see this screen now they have different chat bots that you can use now they have some you know features here that you can click on but down here at the bottom is the search box so what you can do is the default is 40 mini and it even tells you so I'm going to go over these that's all you have to really do is just choose the search bot that you want and then down here in the text box type in your questions etc and then I'm gonna actually I've never actually used this so I'm gonna demonstrate it and then I'm just gonna critique like this is already a problem right here take this anonymous survey well I don't waste time taking internet surveys and you just bothered me so that's a strike all right, now what about this at the bottom? Your chat with generative pre-trace transformer 40 is private. Well, I don't know that. Is that a true statement? Our official intelligence chats may display inaccurate or offensive information. Well, are they offensive like x.com's Groke with the racist, you know, prompts? I hope not. Now, this is once you submit a question or search term, whatever, then that'll be considered a chat. And then... It, if you want a new chat that's a different subject, you would just click on new chat. But by default, it, it creates a new chat. All right. So I'm going to go over these really quickly. The first model. Now, they claim they're anonymous and they claim that they're... You know what they, what they also claim? Did I mention it here? I believe DuckDuckGo claims that they don't use your... Yeah, it says right here. Your chats are private and are never saved or used to train artificial intelligent models. Well, then how in the world do they get their information? Or do they have just web interface and they would use DuckDuckGo search? Okay, so 40 chat to pre transformer version 4. It allows you to upload images, web search, general purpose artificial intelligence, high built-in moderation, and well, that is created by Open Artificial Intelligence that Corporation. That's one you could choose. You can also choose the Llama 4 Scout. That is open source. General purpose artificial intelligence medium built in moderation. Now, nah, this is created by Facebook made Meta. There's also Cloud HiQ 3, version 3.5 general purpose artificial intelligence. Highly built in moderation. And this was developed by Anthropic. Anthropic is a newer company. Now there is... Zero four mini. This is beta. I, me personally, I don't. I stay away from beta. Even tools are beta. But whatever. Reasoning artificial intelligence, high built-in moderation. This was also created by Open Artificial Intelligence. So all you have to do is choose your. Is there another one? Yeah, Mistral Small Three. Op, version three. It's open source. General purpose artificial intelligence, low built-in moderation, created by Mistral Artificial Intelligence. I'm just going to choose the top since it was by default set as default and then you just click start new chat and then you just type something in oh let's see you know what how to download and install perplexity AI a web browser <laughs> how about some competition duck duck go let's see what it what the response is you can stop generating here and this is a huge problem because this is going to steal traffic from bloggers, websites with text. Now, do they source? Do they give source links? Yeah, at the bottom. This comes from Google. And that co comes from Perplexity. Well, what about my video? Now, in all seriousness, I do have a video that I recorded showing you how to download it and install perplexity artificial intelligence web browser but it didn't show up anywhere yeah this is gonna destroy websites if not they're already destroyed you know this is what is known as an artificial intelligence 
overview okay so that's all you have to do to use this this AI tool that they've had it around for a while you know I just ran across it I do use DuckDuckGo alright what else could we ask it now they claim that they don't use your information so you notice how you have this chat you can you can download it you you can export the chat you can delete it but that does does that really delete it off their server it just says clear chat but it's got a delete icon you could create a new chat and it'll start a new chat and then you've got this other one that you can go back all right what else could I ask it do you train AI model with with chat or with searches let's see what they say no user searches are not used to train artificial intelligence models all interactions are anonymous and the data is not tied to any individual this ensures privacy and confidentiality for users I have about a minute and a half do you access the internet or can you let's let's ask it that way I'm assuming it has internet access yes I can access the internet to retrieve up-to-date information when needed if you have a specific question or topic in mind feel free to ask okay who developed you it's relatively fast now remember I'm only testing one the chat GPT I was developed by open artificial intelligence an artificial intelligence research company organization uh, they create and promote friendly artificial intelligence I don't know about that for the benefit of humanity I I I question that statement I think they're just capitalists and they are gonna make a lot of money and you know or well they might okay I have about 30 seconds let me go back and they had a oh right here let's see what that is let's see what settings you can change oh you can change the theme from light to dark yeah you can disable recent chats oh share a city level location really no I don't like this at all that's the eight minute mark really use a pro is that GPS global project satellite share a city level location with artificial intelligence models to improve relevancy duck.ai never reveals your precise location to us or I don't know that how do I know that let's see what happens if you click on learn more do they use oh they use geo IP lookup geography it simply guesses a city nearest you're using the geo IP lookup which is internet geolocation geography lookup well I'm not a, a fan of that providing this information to language large language models help us ensure responses are relevant well but I didn't ask for a grocery store I didn't search you know what I'm saying I'm gonna uncheck that but I'm sure if I clear my cookies that would be set back to default I didn't ask it what grocery store was closest to me you know what I'm saying <laughs> adios